The seas around Wales are a critical part of our natural environment. Many of us rely on them as a way of making a living and enjoying our leisure time. And that gives us a duty of care. For years we've been taking steps to make sure our seas are clean, healthy, productive and biologically diverse. Now as we look to the future, we're building on these foundations with a new marine strategy that puts sustainable development first. It's about supporting economic growth and creating new jobs, all while protecting and enhancing our seas and coastal areas. The Marine Strategy Framework Directive is part of a European initiative to help us look after our seas for future generations. Its goal is that our seas achieve good environmental status by 2020, a mission we share with the rest of the UK and with the member states of the European Union. Good environmental status means achieving 11 separate standards or descriptors that cover the major challenges we face in managing our seas. There are biological challenges like managing food webs, sea floors and biodiversity. Social challenges like controlling waste and litter. And industrial challenges like reducing contaminants in our waters and seafood or controlling underwater noise. Many different challenges, but all interconnected. Over time, effective management measures will work together to protect and enhance our marine environment. Of course, we can't expect to achieve all this on our own. Our seas are shared with England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, the Isle of Man, the Republic of Ireland and France. So we're all working together along with Europe, with Wales in a sub-region known as the Celtic Seas. We are developing joint plans and will be setting out specific measures that will help us all to monitor maintain and improve our seas. As we target good environmental status, we need to apply an ecosystem-based approach on how we manage human activities, recognising the wide array of interactions within our seas. In practice, that means working with ecosystems, understanding how they function and protecting them from any harmful effects of human activity. For example, we don't allow development, fishing or shipping to build up in a way that puts excessive pressure on the ecosystem. And at the same time, we protect the ecosystem's resilience so it can respond to the effects of all this activity. As we develop Wales' National Marine Plan, these principles will help us to manage the competing demands on our seas. In 2012, marine experts made an initial assessment of the seas around the UK. As a result, we now have a set of targets and indicators that will take us towards good environmental status. Now we've established our monitoring programmes. These will enable us to monitor the environmental status of our seas, which will help to identify pressures and impacts. By 2016, we'll have taken our findings and implemented a programme of management measures. Moving forward two years, we'll be ready for our second assessment of the seas. We'll be able to tell how well our measures are working towards our goal, good environmental status by 2020. Today, we know the vision of what we want from our seas. We know most of the challenges we'll face along the way and many of the individual steps we'll need to take. We are already doing a lot to deliver our vision for our seas and many measures are already in place, such as Marine planning and licensing systems help to ensure development of our marine resources is sustainable. The Common Fisheries Policy aims to achieve healthy fish and shellfish stocks, a prosperous fishing industry and healthy marine environment. There is a network of marine protected areas to look after the diverse life forms that we find in our seas. Introduction of the 5p carrier bag charge is reducing the number of plastic bags in our environment but we don't claim to have all the answers. We're still taking advice from a broad range of experts, agencies and individuals. So while the framework is coming together, we want to hear from you. Please let us know if you have suggestions for effective monitoring or methods that will help us to achieve good environmental status. The Welsh Government website will tell you how, where and when you can have your say in the future of our seas. So let's work together on this and develop a plan that works for the good of everyone. For more information, please visit the Welsh Government website www.wales.gov.uk.